welcome to your October reading. I love this reading. I love it. It feels like it comes right off of last month's reading. And the very first card that you get is from Horace. I love this guy. He says, yep, magic is happening up in the cosmos because of your thoughts and wishes and the magnetic and powerful thoughts uh, that you're sending out. Miraculous changes are occurring. So Horace is letting you know miraculous changes are occurring. Now, so if memory serves, your last uh, September reading was about you wanting a, a love relationship, a beautiful love relationship, marriage and children and love, love, love. Lots and lots of love. <laughs> and the very next card that comes is from True Love from Guinevere. And this is coming right next to this one. Miraculous changes are occurring. Your true love is coming. And it says the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver this great love to you that you've been asking for. So while he's talking about your thoughts and your feelings and your emotions and your uh, you know, wishes and wantings, um, have that magnetic you know energy that goes out into the cosmos and she is pretty much directly saying that uh, your this your stirrings have propelled the universe right the universe to deliver this to you <laughs> so a true love is coming and as soon as that card came out as soon as this card came out I heard several of you I heard this I heard really <laughs> And the very next, like, really? Are you sure? Like, that's really fast. Are you sure? Really? You know, I was just hearing everybody, just hearing you guys, just like, oh, you, really? And then the next card that comes out is, yes. <laughs> yes, really. <laughs> I love this. It was just so, it was just such a beautiful conversation, um, sort of between you guys and spirit, where while I got to witness it, and these cards just came right out and, and answered, answered you. So yes, so the universe has heard you, and a true love is on its way, and if the case there's any question about that, nope, it's a yes. <laughs> yes. And then just to confirm extra, the yes, the next card that wants to go is called listen and she's going Shh. and what she's saying is to quiet your doubts just quiet any doubts about this actually happening she says quiet your mind beloved one and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of everything's been taken care of so she wants to follow right along with the yes so if there's any more of you going wow okay but really she's going yep <laughs> we have orchestrated this and he wants to come back like yes this has been orchestrated and your true love's on the way yes and quiet any doubts quiet your mind quiet any doubts about that. I love that for you guys because I know that you have kind of had a hard time for several months in, in what feels like relationships uh, and then it just feels like it just kind of came to this ultimate and then you're just like done and now it, you're like really wanting something wonderful and then spirit says okay here you go. <laughs> We, we heard you, and here you go. The very next card is to believe in yourself. Believe that is possible. And so this, is, this, is, this, this whole reading here feels very much about this. Relationship. Love relationship. Love relationship is really what this reading continues to be about, is relationships for you guys. And so this is saying to believe in yourself. Now, believing in yourself, of course, could have lots of meanings. You could be, you know, needing to believe in yourself in your work, uh, believe in yourself in terms of your life purpose, sort of spiritual growth. You know, believing in yourself can be um, regarding lots of areas, and so they're wanting to say that. However, and in this reading and in this context, they're asking you to believe that it's possible that yes, a true love is coming. 
it is it is possible and it's coming to so believe so really this card is believing in yourself that you deserve uh, a beautiful loving relationship you are worthy of a wonderful relationship and while it has not been the case for some time it is on its way so believe believe in yourself believe in your ability to attract that believe in your deserving of that see yourself in this beautiful relationship and you will you bring it even faster so now they're, they're also wanting me to read this see yourself doing well and you will again that could apply to anything but they're saying in this relationship see yourself in this beautiful relationship it will actually bring it to you faster it's that magnetic and he's wanting to come back it's magnetic so believing in yourself, seeing it, imagining it, seeing it, seeing yourself in that situation. And as you go about seeing yourself in the situation with this beautiful partner, this beautiful marriage and children, you know, what does that look like? What is a regular sort of day um, conversations with them, you know, activities that you do together, or what does that look like? And as you look into that, you might um, sort of bump up, bump up into some things like, okay, well, I don't, like, wow, I never really actually contemplated the, uh, you know, perfect thing. And so they're saying to be honest with yourself, look at really what your heart really, really wants. So as you believe that this is coming, and, and they, they are coming, they are coming, so now you can sort of get super clear about what your heart really wants about this. You know, who are you going to be in this next relationship? Who are you going to be? There's two of you there, so there's there's you and then there's the other. And so how when you envision the two of you together, who are you being in this relationship, in this next next stage of relationships in this lifetime? Who would you like to be in this one? Like looking at, at all you've learned, looking at your family, how your family was, how this most recent um, if this resonates, uh, most recent breakup, you know, what can you take from it? What did you love about it? What did you not like about it that you're clear by contrast that you don't want in the next one? Those sorts of things. Looking at a family situation. So there might be uh, something, something in your family that, um, you know, might have been uh, old patterns that brought in that last relationship. And so they're asking you to, you know, consider those kinds of things as well. While you're imagining this beautiful relationship, look at your family dynamics in terms of what you grew up with, how your parents were with each other uh, kind of thing. In addition to your own experiences in relationships in life so far. Imagine, really, really imagine, get down to the details now. So they're, they're asking you now to get down to the details, 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 details. They also, you also got the grandparent card. And while this word says grandparent, and that you, you may have a grandparent that you're really close to, that it's a really uh, beautiful bond, they're wanting to point out that grandparent is one word made up of two words, grandparent. <clears throat> so they're inviting you to look at those two aspects of this one word grandparent. So as you were wanting a marriage and children, a beautiful marriage, beautiful children, what kind of parent would you like to be? What did you learn from your parents in terms of parenting that you um, didn't like and what you did like, you know, in terms of how that lines up with the kind of parent you would like to be? If you already have children, so some of you may already have children, and as you're going through um, ending this one uh, and, and coming into a new relationship with children, uh, they're saying that, um, um, you know, with a new relationship, it's like a new beginning. It's like there might have been some, as you've learned from the last relationships, plural, 
um, and also in observing your family, there may have been some things that um, maybe you would like to change about yourself. They're they're kind of like showing a clean slate. They're they're showing like a, a like a whiteboard that's getting erased. Like you just get a clean slate and. Who would you like to be for yourself in this next relationship? Again, given that there's two of you. And so if there are maybe some things where you feel like, okay, um, there might be some things about you that um, you feel, some of you might feel like, you know, okay, I could do that better. You know, like maybe I could do that just a little bit better. Uh, so they're asking you to take some quiet time to go within and again she's going like this but but this time this card is about you just sort of going within and and really looking at who you want to be in this next relationship you know talking to spirit and and you know connecting with your higher self your higher loving 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 self right who do you want to be and then you also got listen again so lots of listening lots of kind of sh you know shush and listen <laughs> although she is telling you just trust this listening is about trusting that about quieting your mind and trusting that spirit knows what it's doing that what you resonate is what's coming for you and this is what you've resonated so far this is what's coming so now they're asking you to get really specific in the details and so going within and really looking at your past relationships and who do I want to be in the next one you know conversations with your higher self and listen that's what they're saying you also got this purification card again I think you guys got that last time too uh, to just sort of purify in other words sort of uh, let go of what didn't work before let go of past mistakes made you know right we're all human we all make mistakes and so any mistakes just purify and let those go as you move forward again they're showing this and you know it's not a it's not an old chalkboard it's a white board it's a white pure white purity whiteboard um, getting getting uh, erased so you've got a, a clean slate so purify so that you've got a clean slate going in to this I'm so excited for you guys this is this is so exciting and then there then they give you a few uh, things that you can let's see uh, let's see a couple ideas uh, right now talking about perfect timing this is the perfect timing for you to uh, take that time in between is what she's saying take take the time in between relationships so many times that is what they want to say now so many times we tend to go from just one relationship to the next Right, as if there's something that we just don't want to be alone, kind of thing, and so oh, you know, we broke up. Well, who's next to sort of fill that spot? Um, it's not a bad thing to um, be alone for a little while, and so they're asking you. There's, she's saying what she's saying about perfect timing is that it's a perfect time to just sort of in between the relationships, really take some time to think about what you're what would really light you up so that you're coming into the relationship with intention of how you want things to go and how you want to get along with each other how do you want to resolve arguments in this next relationship you know how much time do you want to yourself in this next relationship you know as far as being honored and respected and 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 those sorts of things uh, you know take the time take the time to get super clear about what you really want that's what she's saying take the time to get super 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 clear and then they're saying that your soul only wants joy that you're wanting joy I love this this card is so beautiful focus on service and what the what she is saying in this context is for you to again really think about who you're going to be in this next relationship there are 
the two of you. So you're imagining this other person is just, you know, beautiful and amazing, and you've got your ideas of how this other person is. And again, she's asking you to focus on how you will contribute to the relationship in the best way, you know, that sort of lines up with your higher self, being of service to the relationship. Relationship is you, them, and then the, the united of the two. Sort of that third entity that is the two of you together. And she's asking you to be of service to the union. To yourself and to the union of the two of you coming together. Focus on being of service. So now this card also has to do with work you know, um, life purpose work. Uh, this could be in in all areas of your life, focusing on being of service. You're wanting your soul desires that you're just in a constant stream of of bliss. Uh, this stream continuously feeds you everything that you need. Put your entire focus on staying in this stream as much as possible, giving and receiving in every situation and balance and in all that you do. So she's asking you to, you know, be of service, be of service and, and in balance, uh, giving and receiving in balance in everything you do, including this next love relationship. And then the last card for this reading is talking about curiosity. Curiosity, start a project related to something that you're curious about. And this is coming up right next to this one. Starting a project. And she wants to come back. And he wants to come back. <laughs> so, what these two are saying, what all of these are saying is that this creative project where you are being of, you know, this is something that you're curious about. The curiosity, curious, curious about what would really, really, really light you up. Um, this being connected to activities or things that the two of you might enjoy together. And they're suggesting this project um, be, as a way of actually meeting this person. This is where you might meet this person. So there's a common there's a common interest where your common interest is on something that you just love doing. They're saying get curious, uh, get curious, having to do with this, getting curious about really really lights you up. What do you just absolutely love? And start a project doing that, and where you might uh, get into sort of social gatherings regarding this type of project, whatever it is, whatever it is, being of service to yourself, being of service to humanity, you know, whatever it is, um, as these sort of leaders that you are, what kind of, you know, social environment you might be in. While you're doing this project, your significant other, uh, beautiful, <laughs> future, amazing, significant other, uh, just very well might have the same interest. So they're encouraging you to start a project because that might be where you meet this person. That's what they're saying. Really strong about this one. This curiosity card comes up a lot because you could get curious about just about anything. Anytime you're stressed out about pretty much anything. The just the the inner state of curiosity is just fabulous to get you out of any kind of stress or funk or depression or anything. Curiosity is just wonderful. So you can use this in any area of your life. But they are saying to get curious in terms of your heart space, what you're wanting, start a project. This could be where you meet this person. Very well be where you meet this person and now he's just looking at me. <laughs> he's like, okay, hold me up because I agree is what he's saying, the magnetic attraction, that magnetic magnet. So your thoughts have brought this person in sort of magnetically, you know, um, by sort of law of attraction and the magnetic resonance of things coming together. When you're in absolute joy and bliss or on, on something that you love, doing something that you love, and so are they, 
there's a resonance that brings the two of you together. <laughs> Wonderful. Leo, I just love that for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. What we're going to do next is we're going to head on over to Vimeo and continue the conversation. I'm going to bring in quite a few more sort of deities and see what they would like to add to your situations, this included, and expand on what they would like to share with you as well for October. So the link will be down in the description below. Until next time, take really good care of yourselves. I love you guys.